The amendments in the Education Act came as a result of the National Conference on Education of 2011. Education Minister Katrina Hanse Himarwa says the Act will align educational programs to relevant policy and legislation and national priorities such as Vision 2030, NDP4 and the Sustainable Development Goals. I'm calling for nationwide public participation in the review of the Education Act and developing a new Education Act for Namibia's children that put education at the center of all developmental imperatives. Our education is a key priority for our government in ensuring that we fight poverty and inequality that still impedes our development goals. Public consultations will start on the 15th of this month and will be carried out in all 14 regions of the country. This is to ensure that inputs from members of the public are adequately obtained. But what are some of the highlights in the proposed legislation? With the intro introduction of the fee-free education at the secondary and primary levels, there is a need for us to align our act so that it should speak towards the, the introductions that we have made. That's one. You may know that um, we have got also areas where tuition fees are required, especially the boarding of learners at, at the hostels. So when we talk about fee-free education, those are all areas that we need to provide fee-free provision of education. So it will be on the STF, that was the School Development Fund, it will be on the hostel and the tuition, tuition fees. And of course, um, it speaks also to um, the raising of monies and soliciting of funds by school authorities, how that should be regulated. The minister says the act will also look at the issue of appointing school patrons, which had been a bone of contention in some parts of the country where some people were rejected because of their political affiliation. The amendments will be tabled in parts. Those deemed urgent, the minister says, will be tabled this year, while the back of it will be tabled at a later stage. Donatene Shidudu, NBC News. Vinduk.